Firefly, what are you up to? Tell me. <sighs> the girl turns her body sideways, gazing into the distance, as if evading your gaze. After a momentary pause, she finally turns back and softly speaks. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize, I don't find you suspicious. Uh, but I want to know the truth, is that too much to ask? Okay. Go I'm on. Not a local. Yeah. And there's a reason why the Bloodhound family is after me. I also have my own purpose for joining you on your journey. <clears throat> but still, I appreciate your help. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> oh my god. Firefly is so, so sweet. Yes, so sweet. Oh my god. for the nameless is also genuine you guys have been to a lot of worlds met people from all walks of life and experienced all sorts of things every day is a new beginning for you guys yeah I mean we're always experiencing new stuff so that's what the nameless is all about trailblazing and whatnot you <laughs> uh, is she... Is she going to be able to board the express though? I don't know. Uh, I really love that kind of life though. You can board the express for express too. What? Can I bring you one more place? It isn't another tourist attraction. It, it's my very own secret base. Mm. And I'll... Do my best to tell you everything I know when we get there. No. Uh, mm. Sure, I believe you. Thanks. Heck to that. All right. So where? What? Dearest customer, what's this? Uh, dearest customer, thank you for experiencing the Dreamscape immersive game Hanu's Adventure brought by Plot Studios. We hope that you had an enjoyable experience. Please do let us know how would you rate your game experience. 1. For great. 2. Good. Please respond with the corresponding number alone. We look forward to your response. There's no bad rating. Yeah. That's how you know they are, they are quite shady with their business. Um, anyways. It was great. <laughs> Thank you for your feedback. We wish you a pleasant time in the dreamland. Club Studios has prepared a great number of clearance rewards for customers inside the dream scene. Uh, uh huh. The dream scene, as well as a limited edition Hanu's Adventure Storybook. Ooh. However, please be aware. If any special content unrelated to cartoon characters, such as Clotty, Brother Hanu, Lost Stone, etc., should appear inside the Star Butch, you are advised to stop reading immediately and destroy the Butch. Mm, what is this special content? Some special stuff? Family friendly stuff? This question will not be answered in accordance with Cloud Studios customer service. Right. Um, deadlines. However, in order to ensure that you do not encounter anything unexpected within the dreamscape, please make sure to honor this warning. If you can just listen to this suggestion, you will have a joyful dream adventure. I hope that you will read great happiness inside this Charlton world we have created. Where is her special base? Oh, we have to follow her again? <sighs> That's uh, great. Let's go this way. No, oh, there's something crap. Please talk! Help! Help me! 
Clutchy! Someone's dying! Please, come here! Dying though? Uh, what's going on? Didn't I make myself clear? Someone is dying! Please help! Wait! Can you see me? I mean, shouldn't I? Is there a problem? Am I the only one seeing Clutchy? I can see a plot with limbs. Can you really see me? I mean, yeah. Sure. Tick tock! Wonderful! This is awesome! There's still hope for Misha! Misha? Oh. Okay. Oops, I, I haven't introduced myself. You're Clutchy. Yes, I know you. You're the cartoon the cartoon character. Who is everywhere? Yeah, you are. My friends and I keep the peace in this small town. They are Hanu, Mr. Soda, Origami Bird, Hamster Ball Knight. Hamster Ball Knight? Mr. Soda? Okay. And Misha! Misha's in trouble! Tick tock! Help! Help! Uh, okay. Uh, Clutchy, how can I help? Because, you know. Clocky? Y yeah? Clutchy? character that doesn't exist in real life. Uh, yep, I saw him. Can't you see him? Um, where is he? I, I can't see him. Tick tock! I guess I'm only visible to those with the innocence, kindness, and honesty of a child. Like this kid here clad in gray! Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> yeah. He implied he implied that uh, Firefly is not innocent, he's not is not child, and doesn't have the honesty of a child. Just how so? Tick tock, tick tock, my great friend. Since you can see me, then you must be able to help me. I sure can. My friend Misha is in trouble. I'm begging you to help him. Before it's too late. Right. Um He says someone someone's life is in danger. Uh, is it really that bad? Seems like it. Well, are you gonna help this some um, clocky that only you can see? I mean yeah. I don't think you're lying, as anything can happen in a dream. We can just head to the place I mentioned later. Mm -hmm. Tick tock! Tick tock! Hurry up and follow me, Grey Friend! Misha's in trouble! He's over there! Let me bring you to him! <laughs> Clarity is so funny. The name of Misha rings a bell yep. to me. Uh, anyway, better check out what's going on. Inside the hotel. Uh, move as fast as a uh, pass. There's a crowd over there. Looks like something really Everyone, please! Acheron! Against the boss. You're gonna have to pay the price. <laughs> punish her, boss. Punish her? <laughs> oh, you sure? <laughs> She's going to punish you, guys. I'm sorry. How did it come to this? Yeah. <laughs> uh. How drunk they are all people I know. I mean, not the dancers. See? I wasn't lying. Misha really is in trouble. What was that, that face that she was making when I said all? Anyways, uh, see, I wasn't lying. Misha really is in trouble. So, do we have to deal with these gangster boss? Um. My baseball bat can't wait to show its might. Uh, please fill me in on what's going on first. Wait, are you talking to Clocky? Hmm. I'm really curious too. Tick tock! Tick tock! It's all Stone's fault that things have turned out this way! 
Is it because I retrieved the the precious treasure in uh, what's what's the, in Hanu's adventure? And things have turned out this way. Uh huh. Precious stones. He instructed his underlings to wreak havoc in the dreamscape, taking away everyone's positive emotions. Since then, the town has been filled with anxiety and disputes. We're no longer a family. Like the voice acting of Clarty. Great job on that. As the guardian of dreamscape, I can't just sit back and do nothing. By using the power of clockwork, I can direct the flow of positive emotions in the dreamscape <laughs> back into people's hearts. That way, everyone can patch up their differences and get along again! Yeah, that seems right. My friend, I require your assistance. I have a feeling you'll be able to master the power of clockwork. After all, you're the special one who can see me. Also, you're a new visitor to this world, which means we have the element of surprise. Surprise. If you take action now. We can catch him off guard. Uh, yeah, but uh, what is clockwork? Here, I'll show you. First, close your eyes. Okay, I'm gonna close my eyes. Yes. <laughs> All we have to do is use clockwork on that cranky gangster boss and inject good emotions into him. Then we'll have won. Please bear in mind that you should never use clockwork with malicious intent. We're the guardians of Dreamville, after all. Tick tock. Tick tock. So I have to to inject some uh, good emotions into the gangster boss. It seems. Mm-hmm. Here comes the clockwork. Uh, use your clockwork to tune this person's emotional state. Angry. Right. Finally, make your transformation here. Tick tock. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to see sad. Happy. Angry. Calm. Hey, I mean, stop tuning. Okay. <laughs> you did it! But how did he end up like this? I mean, I just infused the too much happiness in this guy. In this guy. Uh, I saw a dial and got it moving. Here comes the clockwork. Here comes the clockwork. It's just that seeing that gleeful smile on his face. <laughs> he's just as scary as he was before. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's true. Hello, everyone. Please allow me to welcome all of you to Penacone Land of the Dreams. Oh, come on now. Line up and give our honored guests a warm welcome. Um, sure. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Ready? Go! Welcome, Welcome to the Cody. Land of the Dreams. Well, uh, why? You're, you're so. You're so sweet. You shouldn't have. Um, um. Uh, no need for such formalities. We're a family. Can you ask them to leave now? 
I appreciate the gesture, truly I do, but uh, can we have some uh, privacy please? What is going on? <laughs> we meet again. Are you the one who helped settle everything down here? Yes, I mean, not the only one. There's a little one next to you that helped me quite a lot. You know, let's get to clockwork. Misha, are you acquainted with this great friend of mine? He's an esteemed guest whom I befriended recently. I told you about him before. Does it ring a bell? Okay, so seems that we and Misha can see Clotty, so not the only one. Oh, it's him! Yeah, it's me. Anyway, thanks a lot. If you hadn't gotten here in time, whew, I would have been in a real mess. Tell me about it. <sighs> Thank you. I'm surprised we get to see each other again so soon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no need to faint me. It's the least I can do. About all the commotion just now? I heard a bunch of masked fools were causing a ruckus on the streets. Ooh. I happened to be passing through, got stopped for questioning, and there were some misunderstandings along the way. Anyway, I owe you another one. Uh, don't tell me. Don't 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 even say that. We're not meeting chouts. Is this lady your friend too? Yep. <laughs> well, we've only met each other once before, but he has a kind soul for helping me at the hotel. Yeah, she got lost, seems. It's my pleasure to meet you, beautiful lady. Even Acheron says that Firefly is beautiful. Oh my god, Firefly is just, you're sweet, you're beautiful, I don't know. <laughs> beautiful lady? You don't like that? Anyways. By the way. What did you do to that man earlier? It was like someone took him on an emotional roller coaster. Yeah, well, things happened. I was wondering about that too. What happened back there exactly? Let me tell you. Clutchy, um, over there, uh, taught me some, uh, you know, clockwork, which I may be, well, mm, trying to. Well, imply that it's some sort of therapy session. You know. Yeah. That's right! It was me! Clucky! Clucky! Of course, you played a big part too. Without you doing the clockwork, Dreamville would have been in some real trouble. Wow, yeah. And the real hero. I think. I'm not sure. Clucky? Clucky. Yeah. Yes, that cartoon character. I think he's shown up in reality. I mean, in the dreamscape. I don't really know how a cartoon character could show up around here. But according to our friend here, only honest people with childlike innocence can see him. <sighs> yep. It seems like I'm too old to qualify for that. Oh, Atron, come on. What do you mean by too old? Don't give me that. If Clocky really exists, that can explain a lot of things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Huh. Can you see me too? I can feel the presence of something inexplicable next to you. But it's a shame that I can't communicate with him like you can. Okay. Um, you have... In order to see Clo to see your Clocky, you have to ha to have like some sort of childlike nature, all right. But you must be innocent, have kindness, and be honest, and have honesty. So, if she if she didn't sense, she didn't feel the presence of something next to her. Well, that means that she is close to being uh, someone we can trust. I mean, re for real. These extraordinary things in the dream, probably due to our ability to react to memoria. But you're more attuned to it than I am. That's probably true. I thought your heightened perception was caused by something the elegant memo keeper might have left in your mind. 
Now it seems to me there are many more special beings like her in this dream. Um, the elegant memo keeper. Who is she? Well, I definitely know who she is. Okay. Um, I pulled for her. I got her. <laughs> you know, a certain black swan. Shortly after we parted ways, Ooh. I wandered into a ball without realizing it. A lady wearing a black veil invited me to dance. <laughs> It was my first dance, and it was an unforgettable experience. Yeah, this text isn't read. Shortly after we parted ways, I wandered into a ball without realizing it. A lady wearing a black veil invited me to dance. It was my first dance, and it was an unforgettable experience. It's a shame that I forgot to ask her for her name. I only know that she's from the Garden of Recollection. Mm-hmm. Garden of Recollection? <gasps> Is that the group that serves the Eon of Remembrance? Yeah, it sure does. Exactly. They traverse freely between different worlds as mimetic entities. Yep. They're only visible to certain people. Doesn't she sound very much like that clocky you saw? Mimetic entities. Yeah, just like the one that uh, uh, is helped me get through the Forgotten Hall in uh, the Polishar of our Astral Express, right? Um, mm -hmm. After all, it is a grand event held by the family. The guest list could be a lot longer than we imagined. True. Once again, thank you for being kind to me. I wish you a great time in the dream, and I shall not interrupt your date. What the? What the? <sighs> Atron, please. Let's have some. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. I mean, I, I'm dating uh, Firefly. What do you want? <laughs> no, we're not on a date. No, of course not. She's uh, just a sweet, sweet summer child. Emphasis on summer. <laughs> She's gone. Well, shall we? Mm, yeah. Get back to your beeswax. Beeswax. <laughs> Thanks, my great friend. It's no worries. I really appreciate your help. The nameless are indeed a bunch of talented people. May our paths cross again. Sure. May our paths cross again. Tick tock. Tick tock, indeed. Please come with me. I hope that you won't be distracted by some invisible friend again. I hope so. And uh, now you know how to use clockwork. Go try changing someone's emotions. Different emotions bring different surprises. Emo tuning. Huh. I like the name. Um, you can use clockwork on anyone with a clutchy march on their heads. Oh, okay. So it's not everyone. It's just the one with the ones with clutchy march. Uh, when you get the chance, make sure to try it out as much as you need. Visitor verification. Oh, Misha is can now visit the express. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Thirteen clocks. New mission. Hmm. Me. Me. Yeah, let me have a watch. A new a new one? Um a vivid cartoon figure appears before you. A pity that you can't be considered a fan of the Clutchy franchise. But interest can always be slowly nurtured, right? Meh. Uh. Well. It's like my exclusive friend. A, li a living cartoon character is manifested right before you. It's like your special friend. You are already used to being regarded as someone special. After all, you've been at the heart of a maelstrom since the day you were born. Born quotations, by the way. This time, you'll certainly certainly become a fitting protagonist as well. Do I have stitches for that? Oh yes, I do. Uh, do I have note stitches? Nope, don't have that. 
Uh, so let's put a uh, clutchy here. Let's just reduce his height. Let's put it at the center. Yeah, clutchy might be the one. Yeah, just just like that. Then, um, what then? Hanu. Wait, wait. Uh, remember his catchphrase when writing his lines? He says "tick touch." Yep. Hanu. Uh, look, he's called Brother Hanu. He doesn't have lines. It's by design, not because the design is lazy. Hanu. Okay. Yeah, Hanu is cool. I like Hanu. <laughs> Um, origami bird. The fluff flat feather on their head is their true form. Let's get at this. Okay. And then, uh, ah, the annoying boss stone. A secret that has escaped most people's notice. Blue crocodiles have the hair. Oh really? Uh, unlocked by default. Right. Yeah, let's leave it like that. 60% completed. So... Oh. Collect this. Misha. That's nice. Um, wait, does that mean that I get something else? The Reverie? I can put Misha now. A child's dreams are so colorful as they are simple. Let's put Misha. There. A hundred percent. Nice. I have four more characters, I suppose, to get. Alright. 